Hey, this is Brian with worshiptutorials.com. This is a tutorial for the song Jesus by Chris Tomlin. I really like this song a lot. I'm gonna play this song in the key of G. Now on the album, uh, Chris Tomlin does it in the key of A. And as with many Chris Tomlin songs, uh, it's pretty high for a lot of male vocalists. Now the reason these, these artists record a lot of songs that are high like that, um, it may be kind of frustrating if you have a low voice, but when you sing a song, it's always good to find the key to where like the high highest part of the song is not the very top of your range, but pretty close. And it really allows you just to put a lot more energy into the vocal. And the vocal uh, in, in modern music, especially in worship music, the vocal is the most important really instrument in, in the song. And so you really want it to sound as good as possible. That's why these songs are recorded in keys that they are. So these vocalists can just hit it with as much passion and power as they possibly have. Um, but I find the key of G works well for my voice. Now, if you head to Worship Tutorials, there's a link right down there, or probably right up here on YouTube as well. You can get chord charts for this song. You can see me playing it on acoustic. You can see all of our resources for it there uh, to help you learn this song. So it's in the key of G, it's 77 BPM. Um, if you want to play along with the album, just put a capo on the second fret and play these G chords. Now the chords we're going to use are G, C, D, E minor, which I kind of play like this, A minor, which I often play like this. You can also play this A minor. Uh, so G, C, D, and E minor, there's an A minor in there, which is the two of the uh, the key. Now the, the little chords that walk up and down in between, you're gonna hit a uh, D over F sharp, which is just play your D, and I like to wrap my thumb around and play that low E string on the second fret, that is an F sharp. So when you see an over chord, it means that note, like D over F sharp, F sharp is the bass, and you play a, in the bass note, but you play a D chord. So it's a D chord over an F sharp bass. Um, and then there's a G over F sharp, which is also really easy. Just play this G and then put your sec, put your first finger on the second fret. That's the F sharp again. Um, and mute the A string. And let's see, what else? There's an E minor that walks up and down in there. Uh, there's a G over B. So uh, play your G, and instead of putting your index finger on the low E string on the second fret, put it on the A string on the second fret. Mute your low E. And I think that's it. Uh, so let's talk about how to play the song. The strumming pattern you can use kind of for the whole song is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Let me slow it down for you. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, three, four. The verse, uh, and most of the verses in the song go just like this. It starts on a G, and I like to just strum these and let them ring on the first verse. So G, there's a truth older than the ages C. There is a promise, G, of things yet to come, C. There is one, A minor. You can play this version of A minor, or this version. Born for our salvation is E minor to C, back to G, Jesus, and then a C. And it goes like this. There is a truth older than the ages. There is a promise of things yet to come. There is one A minor. There is one born for our salvation, Jesus, to see. Then you go right into the next verse. It's almost exactly the same, um, except when you come into that Jesus part, it starts doing walk ups and walk downs. It goes like this. There is freedom, A minor, from the chains that bind us, E minor, to C. Back to G, Jesus, G over B, C, Jesus. G over B, okay? And that G over B is gonna get you right into the chorus. So I'll play the end of that second verse, which comes right after the first verse. So there's freedom. From the chains that bind us, Jesus, G over B, Jesus. Back to G over B. You walk on the water. 
Okay, so now we're in the chorus, and this is where all these chords kind of come in between and walk up and down. So uh, C, who walks on the waters to E minor to D, who speaks to the C, to D over F sharp to G, who stands in the fire beside is, D, is G over F sharp to E minor. You can do it again, G over B to C, he roars, like a lion to E minor, he bled as a lamb to D over F sharp, he carries my healing G over F sharp to E minor in his hands, G over B, C, Jesus. Okay, I'm going to play it actually really slow and the chords are going to follow me so you can see exactly how this goes. So coming out of that, the verse right before the chorus, Jesus. G over B to C. Who walks on the waters? Who speaks to the sea? Who stands in the fire beside me? He roars like a lion. He bled as a lamb. He So you caught all those little chords in between. Here it is at tempo. It sounds like this. Who walks on the waters? Who speaks to the sea? Who stands in the fire beside me? He rolls like a lion. He bled as a lamb. He carries my healing in his hand. Then you go into the verse, there is a song, and it's just like the first couple verses that you do. After that third verse, uh, you do the chorus again, and then you get into the bridge. And this is where the song kind of drops, and the chords are real simple here. It goes like this, Messiah, C. My Savior, D. There is power, G. In your name, E minor. You're my rock, C, and my redeemer, D, and there is power, G, in your name, E minor, in your name. And then you go into another chorus, I'll talk about that, but this is how the, the bridge goes when you play it. Okay, so coming out of that chorus before the bridge, you're on the C and you hold it. Uh, Two measures. Messiah to D. My Savior to G. There is power in your name. To E minor, back to C. You're my rock, my redeemer. There is power. Now there's kind of a drop chorus, and you don't do all of the uh, the switching in between chords. It's more of like you hold chords out, and it goes like this. So again, this is the chorus right after the bridge. It's C, who walks on the waters. And these are the basic chords you would play if you didn't want to do all the walking up and down. Who speaks to the C is D. Who stands, G, in the fire beside me, E minor. So if you wanted to, you could just play those chords throughout the whole song. But after Stands in the Fire Beside Me, you do the G over B pickup, and then you're right back into the chord progression. Who roars like a lion to E minor? He bled as a lamb to D over F sharp. He carries my healing in his hands. Um, so you do that, so it's like the first half of the chorus is kind of a drop. You just play those notes, 
or those chords without all the pickups and walk downs in between. The second half of it, it starts to build, so you're starting to do the walk ups. It really, when you start doing the walk up and down thing, it gives it a different, it's like it's gonna go somewhere. The song is starting to pick up. Then you do a big chorus uh, at the end, and then you get to the end. Jesus, the sea, you stand to see. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you, Jesus. Just hold the C to end the song. So that's it, the song Jesus by Chris Tomlin, brand new uh, song out from him. Again, head over to worshiptutorials.com, leave a comment there here on YouTube. Love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.